Okay, so next we're going to do the styrofoam project digital. Um, I'm going to do the double E uh, styrofoam. So kind of looks like that uh, when we get to that point. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and just erase it all. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go to a top view and begin drawing using the line tool at zero and start drawing this way eight inches click enter to bring up the same command click start dragging this way 14 inches and then enter again brings up the command 8 enter enter again click click and now we've got the basic rectangle I'm gonna go ahead and copy this so copy to um, copy it you just type copy select the object you'd like to copy so highlight the whole thing and then click a point to move and start to move your cursor to the right and I'm going to do 25 inches. And then click to finish the com um, click and then hit escape to get out. Because you can make multiple copies. So that way I've got one for the back and one for the front. And I'm just going to build the uh, geometry around the faces of these. Make them three dimensional and put them together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset tool which is a new tool so you just type O F F for offset enter and then the way this works is it wants you to select the line so I click on a line start to move my mouse to the right and you can see that it's right now offsetting by default at half an inch I'm gonna do one point well, inch and a half so now I'm just gonna type one point by enter and you see that lines changed now I can click and I've got my offset at 1.5 I'm doing the EE portion of it, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that um, I, since it's symmetrical, I'm only going to do half of it and then I'll flip it over. Okay, so now I'm going to keep doing the offset tool um, to, to uh, make the geometry. So now I'm going to offset four inches, enter, click the line, move up, click. You can see the order of operations is a little bit fudgeable. Um, so now I'm going to offset again, and this time I'm going to click on this line, which is a little different than what I did last time, and then I'm going to go over to point 0.5, enter, click. Okay, so you can see I've got a bunch of lines here that don't make any sense, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start trimming things out so that it makes more sense. Basically, I'm using the offset tool to create points that I can use to uh, draw my lines. So now I'm going to draw a line from this point here to that point there. And then I'm going to erase this line. So I'll click on it and hit delete. And then I'm going to click on this one and hit delete as well. Don't need that line. And then I want to trim this portion off, which is basically just bring it down to this section here. So I'm going to hit TR for trim, enter. And then it asks you to select the cutting object. This is going to be my cutting object. Enter. And then click on the part I would like to remove. Enter. OK, so that gives me the first part on the side there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the, the, uh, the, the E on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and offset again. This line, 2 inches, click. Then I'm going to offset from the top, this line, this way 1.25, enter, click. And if your dimensions are a little different, that's normal, because um, I'm just kind of rounding and um, using a tolerance of a quarter of an inch, you could have completely different dimensions than me. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going, offset this line, same distance, inch and a quarter, this one this way, inch and a quarter, and that kind of gives me everything I need. So I'm going to draw a line using my snap again the snaps are all on correctly so I can go to the midpoint here click to midpoint there and then I'm going to offset half an inch 
this line. Oh, O, F, F, enter, click, point five, enter, click, then click, delete that. And now I'm going to trim out some more stuff. So, well, actually, we do one more thing. O, F, F, enter, this line, this way, one point five, enter, click. Now I'm going to um, trim out some stuff. So first I'm going to extend this line actually. So extend is just like trim but backwards. So I'm going to go E, X, T, E for extend. Specify where I want to extend to, enter, and then extend it. Now I want to trim, T, R, enter. Click on this line. So I want to trim off to this line, enter. And then I want to trim this one, trim this one, trim this one. Trim that one, enter. Okay, I'm going to trim from this one, this one, and this one. Enter, click, click, enter. Then I'm going to trim, TR, enter, click this one, enter. Then I'm going to click, 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 enter. Okay, so that's basically the, the, uh, the shape that I want to use to make my three dimensional object. So what I'm going to do now is I want to make these all um, polylines so that I'm send setting boundaries to extrude out into three-dimensional space. But the first thing I want to do is actually start getting into layers um, so that I can uh, hide the overlapping um, geometry when I need to. So layers, we'll just type LAY for layers. And you can see by default you'll get like layer one, two, three, four, five. I've already gone in and labeled. Um, the different types of layers that I'm going to use lines, polylines, solids and then I've got a different layer EE -E polyline so I've got polylines for this side and then EE -E polylines will indicate this one in case I want to turn um, the other one off eventually so I f want to make sure that all my um, my lines are on the right layer so I'm going to go ahead and select all of these lines and then right click on my lines here and move objects to this layer and you can see I've selected colors and stuff like that and that line layer is actually off so if I turn it back on you can see well I've already cheated and got this on here already but I'll just delete it. Let me just undo this real quick. I did a trial run and unfortunately I've got that uh already drawn. So let me just go ahead Pay no attention to what I just did. I just deleted everything that was on that layer because I had it off and didn't realize it when I deleted it at the beginning, it stayed there. So, okay, let me go ahead and bring up layers again. And turn that one back on. Now I can move this over to my lines layer. Okay. So now I'm going to start tracing this out so that I've got my three dimensional geometry. So I'm going to use a polyline, P O L Y for polyline, enter. And I'm going to click, 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 enter to bring up the same command, click, click. Alright, and then I'm going to do this one down here. And these ones 
on the inside right here. And then the last one I'm going to do is this line here, which is one inch, to there, to there, back up. And that's for that middle portion there. Okay, now I can just go into my layers tool. I can type. Uh, layer states, L-A-Y. Okay, now I'm going to turn off my lines, and so now I've just got my poly lines on there. Much easier to see. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this whole thing onto the other side of here. So M I for mirror, enter, click this midpoint to there, and I've got a perfect reflection of it. So that's all of my 3D geometry I need for that. or geometry for 3D. All right, so let me uh, show you here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and make this top piece by doing what's called extrusion. Same thing we did with the wood block, EXT for extrude. Extrude curve comes up. I can click on this, enter, and I can go up. And that one would be one inch, enter. This one here would go up one. Actually that one goes up one inch here, this one here goes up one point seven five and then we've got this one in here goes up one inch one inch and this one here goes up inch and a half. And then once again, I can just mirror all this right on the other side. Miss the middle ones here. And that gives us kind of the, uh, just the top portion. So then I'm going to do the bottom four inches um, separately. It should all pan out. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and move these, all of the solid objects, into the solid layer. So I'm going to go to my layers and bring it down so it's almost flat. And then I can use this selection tool to grab everything and make sure I don't grab the poly lines. And then I'm going to right click on this and. Uh, move objects to this layer. Turned it blue. Solids. Okay, so now the next step is to bring back up my lines. So I've got this over here. And this is what I'm going to work on next. So go back to a top view. Right click to pan over here. Now I've got to do a bunch of offsetting to create the more intricate side in here. So let's go ahead and do that. OFF for offset. I'll start on this side, click here, move this way, 1.25, enter, click. And then over here, click this one, 1.5, enter, click. 
And then I'm going to go up from this section. One inch. Click. And then I'm going to go from this section down here, this direction, 3.75. Enter. Click. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim some stuff out so it makes sense. TR, enter. Click on this, enter. Right. Click on this, enter. There we go. Click on this, enter. There we go. Click on this, and this, and this, enter. And I just shift clicked it to add to the selection. Enter. Starting to get kind of boundary around it. And then on the top, I want to move this way uh, about three quarters of an inch. All right, then do this side here. Offset, click on this, go this direction, one inch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go from the top down, actually from the side over here. This one, this direction, 2.5 enter click and then from the top here two inches all right let me do this better. Extend this. And then I'm going to draw a line from here to here. So I've got a midpoint there from this point to that point. Yeah, I got confused because I thought that this height here was the same as this height here, which it's not. So that's why it's a good idea to trim often, you know, so you don't confuse yourself. Delete this line. Delete this line. All right. And then draw this up. 0.5. Enter. OK. And then I want to copy this whole thing. So shift, click to add to the selection, C, O for copy, click this, this way, one inch, click, escape. All right, close this off, erase this line, and then O, F, F for offset, from this point, this direction, five point five enter click trim to here and then I'm gonna go offset again this line this direction four inches click and then connect this dot to this dot click here delete here TR enter click enter click TR, enter, click, enter, click. All right, so after a little bit of confusion, we got that all figured out.
now let's do this section hopefully we can do it a little bit cleaner <laughs> I'm going to offset from this line this direction this line this direction three inches click and then I'm going to offset from over here this direction 4.75 enter click and then I'm going to go three inches from this wall this way three inches click and from the top down 1.5 enter click Let's try not to get confused. So I'm going to connect this dot to this dot here, and then this dot to this dot here. And then just erase all these guidelines, shift clicking them all, delete, trim that out there. Actually, you know what? Undo, U for undo. I'm going to leave that line there because I'm going to use it actually in a minute here. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and offset from this line. Oh, F, F, click. And then we go 0.5, enter, click. And then same thing here, offset this one, this direction, 0.5. And then we're going to just round these corners and it'll trim off that extra section. So I'm going to use a two dimensional fillet this time. So F for fillet enter and then 0.125 is our distance there so click on that to that enter again bring it up 0.125 is an eighth of an inch and that's about the radius there and then we gotta just finish these lines out to there And voila, so we've done the bottom portion. Okay, so next step is to make sure that everything is on the right layer. So we'll type LA for layers. Uh, everything's on the line section. Now let's turn on the polyline section. So I'm going to start typing on the polyline section. So let me go ahead and type L for line enter and I'm gonna go ahead and just trace this oh. polyline duh. this one here we go I'm just tracing everything that is on the exact same level that's how we figure out what we're going to extrude okay so we got that one and this one because it's on an island unto its own I can just left select catch it just right and then shift click to get to select the whole thing and then use the join command to make it a polyline. So just J uh, for join, and it starts to come up. You hit enter, and it's joined together as one piece, but it's on the wrong layer. So let's move it to a different layer. And we'll go ahead and move object to this layer. Boom. Okay. And then we got to do. Polylines for this section here. And then a polyline for this section here. And then we can go ahead and turn off our, our layers for lines. Let's turn off the light bulb, those lines go away and we double check we've got all of our polygons okay close our layers here and now with this one 
we want to create the uh, back portion of it basically so I'm actually gonna need a rectangle around the whole thing too so I'm gonna draw a rectangle this way to there okay and that's just gonna be you'll see it's the it's like if you other if I didn't draw that rectangle when we uh, look at the uh, project you would see it backwards basically um, or you would see through it I mean so okay now I'm going to switch to perspective to do my 3D stuff. Click on this. Curve. Extrude curve. And this is just going to be an inch. Okay. And I might even switch into a different view here. That one inch is too thick, actually. I think it's just a half inch. Okay. Just type hide to hide it. And I'll bring that back once I get to that point. And this one, I'm going to extrude up four inches this one I'm going to extrude up four inches and then this one I'm going to extrude up 1.75 this one I'm going to extrude up 1.75 okay and then I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say show hidden oops that's the wrong one points off show second Yeah, so it's it's right here. Show selected objects. It shows the objects that are hidden. You click on it. Done. Now it'll show it. Sorry about that. Okay, so you've got this, but it's all on the wrong layer. So let's go ahead and do our selection box. Um, type layer. And move it to the solid layer. And then we've got, um, I, I did the positive space of this. Since this is two different pieces, I want to just subtract it from the top piece and leave the bottom piece alone since they're separate still. So I can use a Boolean operation. I'll just Boolean difference right there. And then I'm going to click on the object I want to keep, enter, click on that, enter. And you can see it cut through just the one object. Okay, so now I've got that negative space too. Um, the next step is to combine these together. So what I want to do is I actually want to flip this whole thing over so that it's now up, um, both of these are on their sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a right view and then I'm going to select the whole thing and then I'm going to type RO for rotate, enter, 
specify the point at which I'd like to rotate. And I think I'll do midpoint here. And then specify the angle, one eight or 90 degrees, nine zero, enter. Click to get out. Let's go back to perspective. Okay. So now I've got both of these objects here. Let me just move them to zero, enter. Oops. Round O, move, click this, and then zero, enter. Okay. So now I want to rotate just this piece so it's facing that way. So I'll go to my top view, do R, O for rotate again, specify this object, enter, uh, click wherever. I'm going to click out here so I don't accidentally click on something three dimensionally and have it get out of line. So I'm going to click there. And I'm going to do 180 for 180 degrees. And then perspective. Um, let me bring up my layers here. <clears throat> so make my solids the current one and just turn off the other stuff. I don't need it. Okay, so now I select this. And I'm going to move it onto this back port. Uh, portion right there and the key is to make sure I line it up right so where do I want to grab it so I can place it this corner is the same as this corner in its relative space so I'm going to move it from this point put it right there Okay, now we've got all of these individual parts making up our hole, and we're, all, we're getting closer. Um, but what I want to do now is I want to make this whole thing all one piece. So I'm going to use a Boolean operation. This time instead I'm just going to pull down this menu so you guys can see. There we go, Boolean Union right there. Select the objects. I'm going to just go whole thing enter so now it's all one piece and the last thing I want to do is clean up the geometry a little bit and this is kind of a, a housekeeping thing you do with Rhino um, I want to go to my solid here and go to my solid edit tools and go to faces and I want to merge all faces. So if things are coplanar, like see this this angle here is is a, a line, but it's on the exact same surface as this. So I want to merge any faces that are basically wonky. So I'm going to merge all faces and select this, enter, and see it got rid of that. It got rid of, and it cleans up a lot of the geometry and stuff. So there we go. So next step, filleting some edges, chamfering some edges, you know, making some rounded sections on it, and doing that little circular section right out at the bottom there. Let's do that circle first. So let's go to a front view. And I'm going to draw a circle from this midpoint uh, with the radius of 0.5 enter okay perspective and then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this this direction so then we're gonna do boolean difference click on the object to keep enter click on what you want to get rid of enter there you go then Erase this, so that cuts out that little circular section. Now let's uh, round some corners, do some other stuff um, using fillet edge. Uh, the next radius I want to do, I'm going to do point 
one, two, five, enter. Just make sure you click the right spot. You don't have to do them all at once either. And then enter, enter. Enter, enter. Then I'm going to flay the edge again, but this time the radius is going to be point. Oh. Flay edge. Point two five. Enter. Click up here. Point two five. And then just click. Champ for this edge, CHA for chamfer edge. Click on this, and one should be fine. Oh, that's actually too many. So let me just chamfer edge. Point seven five. Enter. Click. Point. Seven five no enter. Just click. There we go. Still too big. I'm sorry, I don't have the dimension written down. I'm not looking at it. So let me go ahead and champ for edge. Point five. Let's play better. All right, and then the last thing that I think we've got to chamfer is this little section right here. So let me go ahead and do that. Chamfer this. And this. Enter, enter. Up, oh, undo. Reason why I did that chamfer edge. 0.25, enter. It's because this depth is only a quarter of an inch, so anything beyond that, point two. Oops. Click. Point two five. Click. Click. Enter. Enter. All right, and then I've got to move this up. So let's do that. So now we move the uh, edge by going to my solid, edit, tools, edges, move edge, click this one, and shift to click that one, enter, click a base point, and then start moving it up this way. And I'll drag over on top of this so I'm snapped to an end point. And then I'll go ahead and type 1.25, enter. It's a little much. So let me undo that, redo it, click on both of these, shift click to select the secondary one, and then just go up one inch. Still too much. So. 0.75 maybe. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, so that gives you the styrofoam block. It's all one piece. It's all pretty clean. Um, let me go ahead and just make sure all my faces are nice and clean. I'm going to go to my solid, edit tools, faces, merge all faces. Okay. Now we're ready to do our layouts.